you're here to visit Good Shepherd Lutheran in Elgin, Illinois. We're tucked right off behind, right off of 20 and Nestler, um, behind the bank and behind Country Donuts, so we got a great location. Um, I'm Andrea Mosky. I'm the director of Good Shepherd Preschool, and I'm glad you're here today. Typically, we would be having open houses right now and, and inviting people in to see our school, but because of the virus, we're not able to do that. So I'm happy to show you around our building right now. and. Um, if you have questions at the end, I'll give you my email and you can send me questions and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, but I'm glad to show you around our building right now. So this is our office. It's so spectacular. Uh, our friendly secretary Dawn is always in there ready to help you and answer questions. If Dawn's not here, Kelsey is. Um, and so we've got all kinds of help here to answer questions and, and uh, show you where to go and what to do. Um, they are they run the building, don't tell them that they're actually the ones in charge. They're uh, very valuable and, and good to know. So. so you can see in our hallway, we left while it was still cold and snowy. We still have snow pants and boots out here, but every all the kids have a cubby that's theirs. It'll be labeled for their things only. Um, in a couple classes, they'll share a cubby with a child who's here on a different day, but typically they have their own spot for their, for their things. And come in and show you one of our classrooms. Um, we have half day programs and full day programs. So you can choose if you wanna be here from eight to 11 or noon to three or all the way from eight to three. We also have before care starting at 7.15 and aftercare that goes until six o'clock. So lots of options. Hopefully we can accommodate whatever your working schedule is. Um, this is one of our, I love this classroom. <laughs> it's so big and so bright. And we have three classrooms that are the same size. This one gets an extra wall of windows because it's on the back, on the corner. Um, but we have three of our rooms have these lofts in them. The kids love to play up there. and. Most of the teachers prefer to make those quiet reading lofts, but once in a while the kitchen goes up there or something fun. Um, we have a teacher sink, a work sink for, for uh, art projects and all that. And then our two little bathrooms um, that are just their size. So um, way before coronavirus, we had the kids start their day by washing their hands. So we'll continue that, of course, when everybody gets to come back. Um, let's see. We have... Most of the classrooms run with the same sort of schedule. They'll come in and have 15 minutes or so of playtime in the morning as the kids trickle in and the teacher talks to them and they get their little hellos done. And then everybody will meet on the carpet for their, their morning circle time. And they will kind of set the tone for the day. They'll talk about the letter that they're gonna be learning, the numbers that they're gonna be learning, the Jesus story for the week. Um, and They'll usually have a question of the day where they go around and everybody gets to share something. So um, that's a great start to the day and a, and a really, um, really sets the tone for what's going to happen. As far as curriculum goes, we use Jolly Phonics for our letters and sounds, which is the same program that U46 and District 301 use, which is why we adopted it, um, so that the kids are very familiar with it by the time they get to kindergarten. It's a great way, there's little songs to learn the, the sounds and the letters and um, they do very well with that. We, um, and then we follow the state standards for preschool for the rest of our curriculum. Um, teachers are very, very familiar. All of our teachers have four-year teaching degrees from, from colleges, um, so they're certified with the state of Illinois. Um, we have a couple with master's degrees in early childhood or elementary ed, so um, very tuned into what we need to be doing. We're very familiar with the standards and we are um, very aware of Hitting those, hitting those marks. We try and meet with the um, District 301 teach, kindergarten teachers um, about every other year, and we meet with them just to make sure that our kids, as they come over to the district, are hitting the mark and are where they expect them to be, and to ask them, you know, what's changed on their side? Are there any other things that we need to be focusing on? Um, which is really nice to know that we're, 
where we need to be and that we're doing it and if there's anything that they see that we need to be working on. So um, that's something that we're really grateful to be able to do and they've been very receptive to meeting with us too. So. Uh, So out here we have our wonderful playground. It's all fenced in, completely enclosed, so everybody can come up here and have a good time. Um, we have a community garden in the back. We see people working out here right now. Um, and we're doing some digging behind me, making a path connecting us to the neighborhood of, of Providence, which is gonna be real exciting. Um, but we have these all these wonderful things to play on outside. We have a bike path and trikes for the kids to go around on. Um, plenty of things to climb, plenty of green space to throw balls and, and kick and run. So it's always a highlight of the day to come outside. We also have an inside space. So if the weather's bad, um, we can go inside and play. It's um, always better to get outside, but it is nice that we have somewhere to go if, it, if we can't get outside. Parents ask often how many, class, how many children are in each classroom. And so the answer to that is no more than 20 per day. So there are, um, there may be more than 20 enrolled in the class, but depending on the days that they choose and, and their schedules, the way they, they flex, um, there's no more than 20 at a time. And that means there's always an aide and a teacher in each classroom. The state says our ratio is 10 to one with a max of 20, and so we stick with that. Um, our one exception has been our three-year-old class. We kept that at 18 because they're all three, and that's a lot to handle. So. Um, we do take that down a little bit. So there's always a teacher, always an aide. We try real hard to keep the same aide in the class. Um, on the days that are, the kids that are here all week, there is one flex day, there'll be a separate aide, but they get very familiar with the schedule and the, the aides and the teachers. So everybody knows who's going to be in the room. Um, another question that we get asked is about lunch. We um, provide your lunch, you pay for it. Um, it's included in our tuition rate for full day schedules. Um, it's catered in from a company in Gurney, and they have been fabulous. We made the switch to them last year, and the kids have absolutely loved it. Um, they're able to accommodate allergies and specific diets. So if your child is vegetarian, we can accommodate that. If they're um, no dairy, no eggs, whatever, we can accommodate that. They've been very good with us on that. So um, that comes in to the classroom. So we have somebody who's against licensed by the state to serve our lunches. She gets it all prepped in our kitchen down the hall and then wheels it in and the kids eat right here at their little tables with their classmates right here in the room. Um, we do have a rest time in the afternoons. If they're here all, if they're here all day, we have a rest time in the afternoon. Um, we have little cots. Everyone, every cot is labeled with each child's name. We ask the full day kids to bring in what's called a tot cot. We'll show you where to get that on Amazon. Um, it's a little nap mat that attaches to the cot and then so they have their own their own snuggly little spot um, and that gets sent home each week to be washed and we spray down the cots each week. Um, trying to think what else. We do have a music program which is super fun. The kids will come home telling you all about Mr. John um, and you'll want to be here some Sunday when the kids are singing because he's just dynamic and the kids the kids love him we love him. He does a great job with the kids. So um, they go down at least once a week, depending on how many days they're here, and to the music classroom. And Mr. John teaches them songs, teaches them a little bit about music theory, a little bit about composers, um, gets them ready to sing. We ask that they come in um, a couple times during the year, three or four times during the year, to sing with us and um, on a, in a church service. That's at 10 o'clock on Sunday and the kids really enjoy it. It's fun for them to show what they've been working on and to stand up in front of the whole big crowd of people is a, is a big deal for them. We have a Christmas program that we do every year um, that's super awesome. You'll wanna put that on your calendar as soon as you get the schedule because that's an exciting thing to see. Um, we do, I mentioned this before, we do Jesus time in chapel every week. We do Jesus time every day. All the school does the same story each week and then at chapel we go over that story again. Um, it's it's fun. It's the stories in the Bible geared for preschool that, that we do for preschool are just exciting stories like Noah and Jonah and and um, Moses and there's just some really cool stories in there and, and it's fun for the kids to hear that if they've heard them already at home. It's review. If they've not heard them before, they're fantastic and they love to hear them. So 
Um, and that is our reason to be here. So we love to share those stories as well. Thank you for being here for our virtual tour of Good Shepherd Preschool. And I'm glad you could come and walk through the building, see the classrooms with me. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Hopefully I answered a whole bunch of them for you already, but there's always something else. So feel free to contact us. Um, we're not in the building right now, so calling the school isn't gonna help, but there are a couple ways that you can reach us. Um, if you go to our website, gselgin.org, GS is Good Shepherd, gselgin.org, you'll find the school page and just drop that down into that and you'll find ways to contact us there. Um, you can also drop us a message on our Facebook, um, Good Shepherd Preschool Facebook page, um, or you can email me, it's long, are you ready? gspdirector at gselgin.org. And I'd be more than happy to answer your questions, send you paperwork, send you information, set up a phone call time um, to answer any questions that you have. I hope you enjoyed your visit here and I hope to hear from you real soon. Thank you. All four of our children have attended Good Shepherd. It has definitely been a place that we've called home over the past few years for our children. As my husband and I looked into preschool programs for our kids, it was important for us to find a school that focused on the emotional and social growth, but in addition to that, had a strong curriculum to help prepare them for kindergarten, as well as giving them a solid foundation for their continued education in their elementary school years. Good Shepherd not only provided that and then some. We definitely feel a part of the family and have continued to get support and loving care throughout the years to support our children. And we could not be more thrilled and blessed to have been a part of this family for the past few years. I highly recommend Good Shepherd to friends and family and anyone out there that's really looking for a school that's going to be there for you as well as your child through these really important years. We wish you the very best in finding the right program for your child, but definitely encourage you to consider Good Shepherd.